What's up everybody, it's Brian at Two Indians, and as you can see from my beautiful Springfield right here, the seat is not on the bike. Why? Why? Why do you say? Well, as you can tell from the title of this video, Ultimate Seats, that um, I tried to find the ultimate seat for the bike. Ever since I finished my iron butt ride, the factory seat has not been comfortable enough for me. I don't know if the long distance ride wrecked it or whatever, but all of a sudden it's just not comfortable anymore. Yeah, I need to lose a couple pounds. I get it. I get it. Anyway, I decided, you know what, I'm going to get a new seat. I wasn't going to do a Corbin because I had bad luck with Corbin before and I kind of have a bad rep for service. So I decided I'm not going to do that. But not too far from us up in Ormond Beach, Florida is a company called Ultimate Seats. I ran into a guy at the Panama City Beach Rally back in October and um, a guy named Kevin, I think, uh, he's on a bunch of the Facebook pages and he was telling me on Facebook that he loved the seat. You know, with that kind of endorsement, I thought, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot. So Joe and I decided to run up there real quick on a Saturday afternoon and pick up the seat and give it a shot. But anyway, what you see here is a cardboard box with a seat in it. Now, is that the ultimate seat or is it my old seat? Watch this video and you'll find out. Oh, I forgot. Let's roll that intro first. It's only 10 seconds. You guys can wait for it. Hey, it's Brian and Barbara with two Indians. Get out my way, I need space to get the fake on. Get out my way, I need space I'm about to take on. Get out my way. Typical Joe, I come here for myself and he takes everything. Hey, well, I need to know this information. They want me to run the bike around the back. They're actually going to put a seat on so I can try it and go ride around for a little bit and then figure out if I like it or not. That's pretty cool. Can't do that with a Corbin, right? How do we get around the back? That's the question. This is a remnant of a long lost science experiment to reduce the amount of heat coming up to my seat. I forgot about this. Do I want to leave this here? Yeah, you don't want to take that off for you. And everybody's showing up here to help. You don't even have to, you don't have to buy the seat to put it on and try it. They just put it on. That's pretty awesome. And where do you guys make these? Our okay. actual factories in Canada. Right. Design, development, research, headquarters, showrooms all here in Daytona. Or do you have a history up there? Or? It's got a history up okay. there. Okay. Yeah. So what makes your pan any that's better the than pan the factory is, pan? That's fiber reinforced urethane. Okay. Which is strong, hard. Okay. Doesn't bend or flex like your other pan. Oh really? It does. No, okay. This will stay stiff. Being stiff here on the side. Right. Anytime you're leaning into a corner, you're always uh -huh. gonna have that stiffness you need. Even with that pressure, you, it goes into the turns easier. And then, and the so, uh, I do, yeah. Okay. And then, so it's set up for the the factory. Uh, yep, that's where you're borrowed. They all get their own mold. The high pressure injected the foam. That way, they can control the density of the foam when they're making it. So it's uniform. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is all single density. So uh -huh. this is going to be the same density as here, as here, okay. even here. It looks it's thicker. Break. Yeah. This looks thicker than the it pan is. on my seat. Yeah, yeah. your plastic's like that. Yeah. But I can take your seat and go like this. Really? You're not going to do that. Okay. But these pans, any of those brackets, the side brackets, or uh -huh. bolts, anything pull out of that, cracks, right. breaks, uh -huh. we'll replace it. You'll replace lifetime. it. Oh, lifetime. Okay. Yep. The foam has a one-year warranty, and uh -huh. the vinyl has is a marine grade, what they're using in boats. Okay. That's got a one-year. Yeah, better than leather, right? I've been with them yeah. six years. I've never seen a stitch problem with our seats because they use a lot thicker thread. All right, so normally they would let me just take the seat and go for a ride for a few hours and come back. But because we are short on time, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the seat and their normal return policies, you get 14 days to check it out. And if you don't like it, then you can send it back at that point. So yeah, so I mean, that's pretty huge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. And if I don't like it, then I'll ship it back. But I think I'm gonna like it. 
based on what everybody else says. Where did he go? This is where we do a transaction. And your first name. First name is Brian. This is where I turn off the camera too. All right, he's running my card. Hopefully it'll go through. I just stole that card yesterday. All right, transaction complete. Got the seat on my bike. Gonna go take a ride. See how this thing feels on my butt. Let's do it. Thanks, yeah. appreciate it. All right, all right. Yep. Well, the shirt does lift me up higher. I can tell I'm, I'm at least an inch and a half higher than I was before. And I'm basing that on looking at the windshield in front of me because I have a, a lower windshield from Freedom Shields. By the way, awesome company. So what I had to cut out was a bunch of video of me riding and talking to the camera. The audio was just terrible, which is unfortunate because I had a lot of very intelligent things to say, I can assure you of that. Basically, what you're seeing me talk about here is the seat and its comfort. The ultimate seats, very comfortable. Man, I can tell you that, I can tell you that on the way back from Ormond Beach, I didn't even think about the comfort of the seat because it was it like disappeared under my butt. I felt like 
I was floating on a mattress. I mean, it was really nice. It's a little firm, but uh, it was just super comfortable. I really enjoyed it. But it really is pulling me forward quite a bit. You know, and now that I've come to a stop too, I feel the the stress on the crease of my butt cheeks because that's where you know my legs are falling over the side of the seat to put my feet on the ground. And if I was in stop and go traffic for a long time, I think that that would become uncomfortable, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this seat. I, actually, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to keep the seat. So I decided to put my seat back on, and it's really for one reason, right? And that is because the seating height is elevated about an inch and a half. Um, yeah, about an inch and a half. The main problem that I have with this elevated seat height is these guys right here, the handlebars. But either way, it was too much of a pain in the ass. I don't want to take all this shit apart just to, and buy bars and buy a new windshield, you know, just to have a seat that is going to, you know, hurt my hamstrings when I'm sitting at a traffic light or in, in bad traffic. Unfortunately, sadly, um, I decided to take the seat back. And so the good news is, is that the people at Ultimate Seats are friggin' awesome, right? I called them up and they said, yeah, we're here till four. You got 14 days anyway to bring it back. They said, yeah, just bring it back, no big deal. And uh, psh, no questions asked. I, they asked why I didn't like it. But uh, when I told them that it was just too high, they said, yeah, okay, no problem. Super comfortable if I was taller. Phil Mays, you might like this seat, buddy. Let me tell you, because um, you're a tall dude. But uh, for me, didn't uh, didn't work. Uh, I'm disappointed with that too, because now my search continues. If you guys have a seat suggestion for me, or a seat maker that can help me, not Corbin, not Ultimate. I got to have something that's very close to factory seating position. But if you have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Miss Barbara, <laughs> wave, honey. All right. I love that lady so much. I tell you what, she's awesome. And like Michael Yancey says, she's the beautiful Miss Barbara. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on the ultimate seat. Some thoughts on people who moto vlog, and definitely some thoughts on my beautiful turn around miss barbara wow look how beautiful you are oh thank you my god Whew. you're looking at one lucky guy i gotta tell you that hey thanks for watching guys i appreciate it again happy new year two indians out two indians out <laughs> love you guys bye